John Bennett with Logic Pro X and in this video we're going to talk about stuttering audio and this is a very common technique used in remixes and often used in transitions leading into a vocal part that kind of thing and there are plugins that can do this but oftentimes you know you really want to get the um, stuttering effect you know you have that manual manual control so I'm going to delete what I did here and start over right now I'm going from one song to another and I'll play it for you. I want you to stay. So first thing I'd do is come in and just grab a little piece at the beginning and start playing. So notice that I didn't cut right on the beat. Um, oftentimes you come off a little bit, leaving a little gap. It'll give you a nice effect. And when you're doing this, you know, it's very experimental. You got to get the sound right you know, and try to kind of play with it and get it the way you want it to sound. So I'd start with something like this to see how it sounds. It's kind of too fast. So what I would do now is just delete these two, come in and make this bigger. So highlight them both and just drag bottom corner, make them a little bigger. And I want four of them. So I'm going to option and drag those over. So let's hear it now. Pretty cool. But still lacking a little bit of something. I don't know. So I'm going to take one more piece, bring it all the way over here, make this one bigger. And then what I'm going to do is use the slowdown effect. This is your fade tool. You just drag it out. This would just fade the sound out. You come over here to the left, turn down slow down. And now you can get, here, I'll play it by itself so you can hear. It's a very common technique you're hearing a lot of songs these days. So if I put that with the mix. So you can see I'm also going into Lady Gaga applause, and I've got the acapella, so let's listen. I stuttered this as well. Same technique. You can go in and out, like you could stutter one song into another, that kind of thing. Here's what we got here. So, it just makes a nice transition sometimes. So you might want to come in this last one because it's going to go into the chorus here. Chop this guy and give it that slowdown again. Again, we're just adding creativity and different dynamics to the remix. Slow that down. So that's how you do stuttering in Logic Pro X. Hope you enjoyed. Now inside the VIP area, I'm going to be sharing some more advanced stuttering techniques. So head on over to logicprox.net, sign up for a free account, and then join me in the VIP area. Hope to see you there.